If you've been watching our videos on Practical 365, you will know that not only do we like the practical, but we also like to get our hands on some kit as well, especially me. And while it's not Teams room systems today, it is the hardware out capabilities that have came to Microsoft Teams. So hardware out is being able to send a video feed. So one of your many video feeds in the meeting, just one of those out to an external monitor, also another video capture card. So for example, perhaps you are bringing somebody in for the big corporate conference, bring them in over Teams, but you won't have to put the Teams screen and uh, all of the, the user interface on that. You'll just see their video feed comes straight out into an external monitor or projector, and you can pick and choose what that looks like. And to do that, we need something like this. And this is uh, from Blackmagic Design. It's a Decklink mini monitor. You can get ones that plug in via Thunderbolt into Macs and another hardware like that. Uh, but this is a physical card that fits inside a PC. So it's got uh, on there, you'll see an SDI out, that BNC connection at the bottom, and a HDMI out. So for example, when we've been doing the podcasts with Paul, what I've been able to do is feed the HDMI out and then back in again um, to a video capture card, which in this case could be anything like this. So um, yeah, cam link. So loop the video out. Now the good thing about that is it doesn't require a lot of processing power to do. And you can buy these cards with many outputs. So you could have uh, ones that have got eight outputs, four in, four out. So capture and send them to all different places. It might be good if you need to be able to get people in uh, remotely to record a video, uh, or you need to be able to take stuff in from a Teams meeting and then feed it out to somewhere else. Uh, perhaps if you're working with a professional broadcast. Primarily though, it is really useful if you need to capture something from a meeting and you need to be able to push that out and make sure that it's reliable every single time. It's perfect for live events, hybrid conferences, reasons, all those sort of reasons why you might need to be able to push something out to an external screen, but you don't want the Teams user interface to show.